For many centuries, the Middle East has been a place of political and religious conflicts. About 2,000 years ago, one of these problems involved the Jewish nation and the Samaritans. This is the story of one Samaritan woman. It was the middle of the day, and for many people, it was a time to relax. But one woman went down to the well, and she chose a time when she would be alone. But there was a man at the well, and he was Jewish. Centuries of bitterness had separated their people, and he was not welcome. Perhaps he was thirsty, but according to the Jewish teachers, for a Jew to drink from a cup which was used by a Samaritan would make him unclean. She knew he would not speak to her. And in those days, a man and a woman who were not closely related did not usually make eye contact. But this Jewish man asked for a drink. The woman was shocked. How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? The Jews do not use things together with Samaritans. If you knew the gift of God, said Jesus, and who it is who says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Sir, she said, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep, so where do you get that living water? Whoever drinks of this water will still get thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I give them will never get thirsty. It will be inside them a spring of water welling up into everlasting life. Sir, she said, give me this water so that I don't get thirsty and come here to draw from the well. Go, he said, call your husband and come here, but I have no husband. You did right to say, I have no husband, for you have had five husbands, and the man you have now is not your husband. You have told the truth. Sir, she said, I can see you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where people ought to worship. Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father, not just on this mountain or in Jerusalem. Salvation is from the Jews, but the hour is coming, and now it's here, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. I know the Messiah will come, and when he comes, he will tell us everything. I who speak to you am he. A Jewish Messiah who talked with Samaritans? She had to tell the village about him. Not the military leader some had expected, but a prophet, a teacher, and a savior. The woman's life was changed. And because of her, the people of Samaria invited Jesus to stay with them in their village. She was a victim of history, the history of her people and her own personal history. But Jesus broke through the barriers that had separated their people by his simple request for a drink of water. Above all, he showed her her need of God, of truthfulness, and that he, the Messiah, could change her life as he had changed the lives of others. If you want to read the story, it's in the Gospel of John chapter 4.